Welcome to another Enjoying Art lesson. If you're a member of Enjoying Art, now you can come to our learning center to view the full video and download the reference. If you want to learn about the technique of using these two brushes, now you can come to enjoyingart.com brushes. Now let's start this painting. First, I'm going to start sketching with my watercolor brush. Just take a little lighter color over here. Think about the big area. The building over here coming down. Right, start over here, almost the middle of the page. Okay, coming down over here and start coming this way. And coming all the way to the edge over here. I'm going to also leave a, a very bright warm color on this side on this wall, like that. And I have a, a, a gate, looks like there's a gate over here. Okay, there is some um, a light shape over here. Think about perspective as to see how the angles would look. But at this point, try to get the biggest shape, how it should look like. And something too dark, you want to soften it a little bit. Okay, let's continue. Uh, mark down some important, uh, say the person in the middle of the painting is the focal point. I'm going to take a look at that. It's about a little bit lower than uh, the one third. I'm going to take a look at this is the head and this is his uh, legs coming over here. So this is the space and middle over here that will be the pen. So let's draw the bigger shape first and then we're going to figure out the details a little bit later and take a look at. And on the shoulder have a little light shape. I'm going to mark that. And then on this side the arm coming over here. And the whole shape of the shirt is actually in the shadow. I'm going to paint it all, the whole thing over here in shadow. Like that. And this arm right here. And I leave a little gap in the middle over here. This is good. And see a little bit the hand over here. And coming over here. here you go. So this brush should really be able to get you all the shape that you need. Okay, that's, that's good. And the front of the, the boat, right over here. And here we go. And this is a little bit uh, orange color. I uh, can set that over here. And a little orange color, but you know, there is need to be painting around uh, the shape of the boat at the, at the back over here. That's good. Like that. That's the face. Continue over here. And coming on this side. Here we go. That's good. And that is this holding the raw and with the pedal and holding over there over here a little bit later later. Okay, now this is good. I'm gonna have the reflection. Here we go, the reflection over here like this. In the distance, I'm gonna have a little bit warm gray color, that's good. And then take a look at here I can make that a little bit higher if I want. Yeah, why don't we make it a little bit higher? So the bridge over here coming all the way on this side. Okay, that's also, I'm going to give enough space for the wall. Okay, that's good. And have a little bit line under. And there's um, the bottom of the bridge. And take a look at. Uh, the side of the wall over here, there's some 
uh, windows um, on the distance over here see a little bit uh, blue colors and here you go and I'm gonna throw a little blue color blue gray color over there for now and like that and overall the distance they are put it light and gray and this is good and I'm gonna have a little bit reflection and right over here that is showing the building on the other side right here like that and we can put some details to the reflection put that a little bit more clear here this is a good mark and the window over here and here we go I'm gonna have a little bit color over here coming down and I'm gonna have some very bright orange brown color okay take this I can have a little color coming over here First, I'm going to start from a distance. It has a little bit yellow uh, gray color, pretty light. I'm going to take this color over here. Now, put it over there. And take a look at over the bridge. And here we go, on the side over here. Screen your eye. So I'm going to see how dark that color is supposed to. And actually, pretty dark. I'm going to get, always think the value before you think about what color is it. I'm gonna have, have a little bit more blue, make it a little bit darker. Now I'm gonna start over here, right from the top over here. Let's take a look. I'm coming over here, and this whole wall over here is dark. And then get a little bit warmer, a little lighter, a little warmer color, a little orangeness color, right in this area. I'm gonna keep that a little separate with the distance. Get a little bit green color. We already have some green color over here. So why don't we just use this? Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna painting around the boat. Invent a little light, give a little bit more like this. And here you go. And I have a little light shape over here. The whole shape over here. It's a little bit darker. Now I'm gonna take a look at the shape of his shirt. I'm gonna add that, make it a little bit darker, like that. Look again. Okay, now I'm gonna have that shoulder a little bit light. And now I can add a little bit more blue. Now I'll take a look at the arm coming over here. This painting without masking so we're just going to a direct painting, direct respond to the shape. Okay, that's good, like that. And the head, actually I can make some dark color right in here. And coming up the head over here. That's good, like that a little bit and the arm over here that's good all right i'll come back to that a little bit later we already set the base tone pretty nicely and i'm going to have over here have some little color like that have a little bit shape on the side over here make a nice uh compositions and at this point it's safe for us to set the a uh, little bit more final colors to the raw, the petal of the boat. Okay, start over here. That's good, a little bit darker now. Look again. And I'm gonna have a little bit lighter in the middle of that. And then coming over here, a little bit darker. Okay, that's good. Now I'll take a look. I'm gonna get a little bit lighter and a little bit thinner, like this. I'm gonna change to the other color a little bit later. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow orange color. Okay, the yellow and red. And I'm gonna put that right in here. 
look a little bit later. That's good. Okay. Now this is good. The water has some nice content over there. I'm going to decide to throw a little bit uh, reflection over here. Now take a look at on the top over here. Now coming down with here, this window, and then coming directly a little bit over here and continue the reflection. Okay, something like that. A little bit window describing the reflection. So that's good. Keep it there. I'm going to have a little bit blue color for some window over here in the distance. That would be fine. A little bit softer. All right. After we have all those sheep, the color, and the the whole composition now all the connect together. I'm going to have a little bit light. Those yellow orange color, a yellow green color. That's good. Like that, and I have some reflection over here. And also I have some color over here too. Okay, pretty good. And I want to take a look at uh, the main area, which is the boat. Okay, before I go there, I'm also going to screen my eye to take a look at these two um, small poles. What it look like, I have a little bit more of this color, that's good. Now I want to take a look at one right here. And the other one right next to it. Okay, right here. And then we're going to set the red uh, stripe. And they will make it look much better. Okay, that's good. Over there. And the other one in the distance, I can just let it go. Uh, that will be fine. I'm going to have a little bit red color. I'm going to put that back over here. That's good, sewing. But I may be a little bit too much contrast since it's so close to the main object. So I'm going to soften that, let it go. Okay. Now I'm going to spend a little time on to the bridge. I'm going to get a little bit bluish color. Don't need to have a too uh, big of contrast. Okay, like that. That's here you go, over. Coming down over here. And here we go. Coming all the way onto this side, like this. I'm going to take this very dark color, mixed with the red and the blue color. Now I'm going to come in over here. Let's take a look. That's good. Coming over here and a little curve, beautiful pattern. Okay, that's nice. A little straight line coming down over here. That's good. Okay. You can keep a little light shape on the edge, that's fine. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's a little bit more clear. Now let's put a little red color, uh, but it's not really that red, it's actually pretty dark. This is darker. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to put that right in here. Look at look. Take a look at the top over here. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm going to sh put a little shape coming up like that. Okay, continue another one. Okay, another one. Another one. That's good. 
and think about whether or not there is just two pop up. If there are two pop up, you can soften that. Stop it. Okay, that's good. That too light, too dark, too much contrast. Okay, right over here. Here we go. A little bit over here. Okay, a little bit. Now we're going to take a look at painting into uh, the boat. Uh, get a little bit more details. At the front over there, I have a little bit vertical line. A little stick like that. That's good. Now I'm going to paint, start from the top of his head. I'm going to have a little bit brown color. That's good. And you think about the brown color, just orange, have a little blue color. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have a little bit brighter orange color on the top. Still leave enough white color. That's good. And show, showing his hair color. Now I'm going to have some darker color all over here. Continue from the top and coming down. That's good. And then the color of the shirt. That's good. Now I'm going to come down to the pins and then come back here to finish the shirt. And take a look. It's about up here. Okay, I'm going to have a little bit more water. Make it a little bit darker. There we go. Like that. Push it down. Now nah, that's good. On this side, coming down over here, start having a little gap. Okay. Here we go. Have a little bit. See this side? Oh, interesting. Actually, I can see that he has a one leg, up a one leg, and seeing the looks like the bottom of the. Uh, shoe. I'm going to have that like this. That's good enough. So, whatever, if the people see it, this is good, right? And I'm going to start have some stripe. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have a little stripe over here. Take a look at the movement of the stripe. And here you go. Like that. That's good. And coming a little bit on this side. Here we go. That's good. Now I'm going to do a sum over here. Okay. What about here? Okay. That's good. Now looks good already maybe have a little bit shadow indicate that the gap okay right here right pretty good and I can show a little bit orange color so it's showing the arm um, the hand Let's make a little bit. That's good. Here we go. Like that. That's good. I show a little bit over here too. Okay. That's pretty good. Now I'm gonna start at the little big orange color, orange brown color that to the face of this person. There we go. Now I'm going to set that over here. And a little bit the back, the hair of this person look like the girl. Okay, like that. And here we go. And the back of his head, like that. 
Okay. Now that's good. Now back over here, I'm going to add a little bit orange color. Here we go. Now back over here. And we're still going to make this a little bit highlight. Okay, that's good. All right. Maybe the head, I don't have to keep it. I'm just painting around. That's the light shape. And I'm going to have some darker shape over here. Here we go. I'm going to have. Take a look coming down over here. I'm going to have a little bit like that. That's good. And here we go. I have a little bit shape over here. That's very important shape. Like that. And coming on this side, it's very much like a reflected. And on this side, I'm going to see a little bit on the other side. Like that. All right. Pretty good. Now take a look at some shape over here. That's very good, like this. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit gray color, maybe even just a little bit light blue color, and showing a little bit suggestions to top of this and have it connected, it's okay. Now I'm going to put some darker color on the other side and here we go, a little bit blue and a red color, here we go. Now a little bit cooler color, right in here. Here we go. Now I'm gonna put this, keep a little light. This is the other reason I don't use masking for this painting, it's just, if you do masking, it's too many things that you have to mask. I'd rather just paint it as I'm going to leave the shape. If I need to, just keep going with the direct painting approach, like the top of the head. I'm going to keep a little light. Here we go. Like that. And then over here, and have a little shape there's a little interesting shape like that in the middle over here and over here have also a little bit darker on the back over here let that wet into wet connect it okay that's good okay and and a little bit dark color over here. A little dark color coming over here. That's good. And now I'm gonna actually can add a little red color here. Okay, here we go, a little red color. That's good. Okay, maybe a little bit more red. Okay, now and the front over there, I'm going to continue with this dark color. Here we go, coming up over here. Here we go, take a look. And coming over here. Now I'm going to paint in, just keep a little light on top of the, the raw. And then here we go, painting around to his head. Okay, that's good. Okay, it looks very nice. I'm going to continue. Here we go. A little big shape like that. A little shape on this side. Here we go. A little shape. And have a little big kind of brown orange color. Connect that color down over here. Have a little, need a little bit more red. Okay, here we go. And here we go. I keep a little light shape. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. Okay, have a little big line. A little line coming here. And that's good. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the back over here. And it's to see a little bit more detail. OK, 
Okay, this a little bit darker. And this a little line coming through over here, coming to the other side. Here we go. And I'm going to continue with this. It looks very nice already. Very good suggestions. Okay. Now I'm going to have uh, this very dark color. Makes a little dark color. This should be good enough. And take a look. Redo this. And here we go. There we go, like this. Coming back over here. Like this. There we go, a little bit darker. Have a little bit blue color. I'm gonna have the pins even darker. Okay, that's good. show it could be the foot could be something over here and that we don't have to make it so clear and that actually doesn't really too matter okay okay I think the boat looks pretty good I'm gonna have a little bit green color that's good having a little bit more clear right here okay okay Connect that a little bit. It's better suggestions. Now I'm gonna on the bottom over here. I'm gonna have a little bit green color because that is close to the color of the water. Okay, here we go. That's good. Also here. 